We got some Prosecco and beer on arrival. So I'm going to do a little room tour of our room. I actually brought my tripod this time because my hand is always shaky. And I got this little light actually on Amazon as well. But this is my bathroom. So this is cool. So we have toilet, power shower, and then we have our bat, little his and hers sinks, which is cool. I'm gonna take off this light because this is distracting me. So we have the his and her showers and some towels and stuff underneath. I'll show you the rest of the resort when I'm going for dinner and maybe tomorrow when it's a bit brighter. Um, but this is our room and we have like a balcony. So this is our bed, so it's very Greek style. Um, I actually really like the decor. And then we have a little lounging area and we even have our own little like Bluetooth speaker, which is really, really cool. Some coffee and a big mirror, do my makeup, telly. And then we have our little balcony as well. And then this looks down over the pool which is really, really cute but that's the resort down there so i'll do a proper tour when i'm going around look it keeps looking up food and yeah so that's the little room <laughs> Mm, they're nice. Mmm, they're nice. Tell some. I've never at, um, where are these apricots? Yeah, I can't. I can't try through. Not bad. Okay, it's dry. Oh, it's dry. I just eat one. Yeah, I hope it's going to be proper. <laughs> no, you're staying <laughs> now. <laughs> so I look like the most uncomfortable man ever in a hammock. <laughs> you look like you're not even enjoying it. <laughs> I'm like a baby. <laughs> it's the most 
<laughs> you look really long and straight. <laughs> is it comfortable? It is. It's a bit tight. Oh, man. Right. <laughs> and it flapped out of it. I know, would you go to sleep there though? Actually, probably would. Would you? As long as I don't blow over the hill. <laughs> a big custom in the makeup line. Oh, it is relaxing. Is it relaxing? wasn't on yesterday so what did I do yesterday we went into Zante town which was nice and um, we just lay by the pool and I actually just wasn't feeling well yesterday and I'm still not feeling well which is a very very annoying Um, this always happens to me every time I go I got a holiday around this time of year Um, so we went down to the steam room and sauna and stuff to try like make myself feel better didn't really make me feel better and then we just went out for like some food and we were actually home early so yeah I'm still not feeling great this morning which is very very annoying especially during holidays but um yeah we're just going to take it easy today and hopefully like I'll be a lot better by tomorrow but yeah I even look like shit like what the absolute hell um yeah so I every time I fly like I seem to get like a bug so I don't know, I just have like a really low immune system. It's really, really annoying. But yeah, so today we're just gonna chill by the pool again. Just because the hotel is so nice, we might as well make like, please excuse like the actual hack of the room. But look at our view. So it's also pretty. Yeah, so it's really, really pretty. That's the resort, so it kind of goes around the hallway like that. Um, it's absolutely massive. We were planning on doing like Shipwreck Island and stuff yesterday, but um, ooh, again, I just wasn't well enough to go out in a boat for a day. Um, but we'll do that during the week. So I'm gonna rate the hotel at the very end of this video because I know a lot of people ask me about it, honest opinion of like what I think of it. Though I did go down to like the fitness center yesterday and the steam room wasn't working and um the jacuzzi wasn't working and um i'm actually going to show you the breakfast buffet today when i go down i'm just waiting for keith to get back um because he is going to the gym i was like i am not going to the gym this morning i'm absolutely like raw off but um he's training for a martin so he has to keep training while we're away um so yeah i'm actually going to show you the breakfast book the buffet because like it's literally one of the best Breakfast buff. Why can't I speak? Breakfast. <laughs> breakfast buff is I have seen, unbelievable. So I'll show you that. But um, I'm gonna go get ready, and try and make myself look a bit more feckin' decent. But actually, I want to show you this um the stuff I've been using on my hair for when I'm out in the sun. Hair like really needs to be washed right now. But like, we're gonna push through for today. So this is the Voodoo's Sun Savior. It's their like oil that you put into your hair for like such so as base doesn't damage it. You just spritz it on and it's actually really, really good. So you apply it like every two, three oh. hours. And in fairness, my hair still is like feel still I actually can't speak today. It still feels really healthy. Um I got a blow dry before I went out, so that obviously helped a bit. So yeah, I'm just gonna apply this today when I'm in the sun and then I'll come home and like wash it or I might go get a blow dry actually because I just don't feel up to doing it myself but we'll see um yes yeah, so you just like spritz it on like literally like you can spritz it directly onto your hair but I just like to put it on my hand and then just do the ends of it just be careful if you do have extensions because you don't want to put them too near the bonds 
Um, but it just protects your hair from the sun. I do mostly like put mine up in a clip anyway so the sun can't really get at it. Especially being blonde, like you don't want to like go around with like singed hair. Um, but yeah, that's really good. I actually got their like heat defender and their hairspray little travel bottles which are really really handy to put in your suitcase. Um, but yeah, it's actually your anniversary today as well. So I have a really really nice dress that I'm going to wear later. So I'm going to go now and get ready and hopefully when I come back on I'll be feeling so much better. Our little private beach in our resort. It doesn't look like um, much of a beach. It's more like just a coast. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. Water looks nice there, that looks like a nice view. Yeah. Only like you can lie out there, like only enjoy it. Now that is one miserable afternoon. So we started off renting a car today, which didn't go to plan. <laughs> I say we literally got 10 minutes away, did we key? Right there. And then we had to turn back because my anxiety was through the roof and everyone's lethal and the roads are too narrow and the car was about to break down, the clutch needs to be replaced and then we hit a turkey. <laughs> Literally, a turkey came out of like nowhere. <laughs> so that was that was the end of that. The turkey actually wasn't damaged, and <laughs> we just clipped. Them. We just clipped the turkey. The turkey is still alive. Oh my god! Look at that rain. Yeah, our our journey to Shipwreck Island didn't go to plan today, and the car is still out there, and the hotel staff are probably laughing at us because we rented a car and haven't went out to the car since. So. <laughs> Oh, how embarrassing. But anyway, so moral of the story is don't rent a car in Zakynthos. Even though we said this from Santorini that we will never ever rent a car again. And what did we do to Egypt here? Went and rented the car because we had no options. And then we couldn't drive the car. <laughs> oh, God. You more me, the turkey was coming out of the bushes. Keith, I didn't see the turkey. The turkey literally just went, ooh, and started looking around. <laughs> You didn't even like swerve, you just kept going straight. <laughs> sure, I didn't think he was going to come out like. <laughs> the poor turkey. <laughs> we just gave him a little clip. Well, I don't know if we really clipped him. But I think we got like maybe like. A feather. A feather. You <laughs> <laughs> know, the ball pack he's our <laughs> I know, it's terrible to drive. I honestly don't know how like there's not many crashes over here. I know, so we're going to shipwreck. Um, What's the thing called? Viewpoint. Yeah, we didn't want to spend like eight hours out on a boat journey because I can't swim. And then I was just going to be left on the boat when everyone was going across to the beach. You can't swim, you can't drive. I can definitely drive, Keith. <laughs> well, the keys are the car there. I'm, take I'm not speed. driving that car ever. I'm never stepping into it again. I need to go see a doctor after being in it. Like, <laughs> I'm traumatised. I didn't hit anything. You were so close to hitting loads of things. The teams were close to me. I wasn't close to them. It wasn't your fault. It's because the roads are so narrow and then it's a right-hand drive and then you're trying not to hit the cars but then like you're so close to hitting the parked cars and the people walking. I had it all under control. It was like treading a needle. No. <clears throat> anyway. So shipwreck island. Nice scene. So I literally forgot to pack pajamas. So I'm currently... I don't know if you can see that. I'm currently in... Keith's top because I forgot to pack my dance, as you do. So I'm not waking up with this eye thing again. I'm waking up with some allergy things, like literally since I got here, there's been, there has been something wrong with me. But we still go on. But we're gonna go get some breakfast now. And I'm gonna show you around the resort because I don't know what you're saying that already and I literally haven't did it. So I'll bring you around the resort today. And yeah, I'm gonna go get ready. Pretty view. Look at 
check and see. You can see from here, Keith. So there, is it? See the, the man took our car back that we didn't drive. That's it there, isn't it? The white one. Isn't it? No, that's not it. Oh, oh, yeah, it's not. It's not. Isn't it? I'll go look. This is our little walk-in area to our breakfast. Morning. Morning. Reception area. Toy bags, watchers, gum these delicious cakes. I don't know who would eat these because they're in the morning, but bread. Sure, I don't record anyone. This is our infinity pool with our bed, hammocks, the sun and view. My plan is to get onto that wall for a photo. I thought there was covers on it, they're actually rackets. No, well, there's no covers. No, so we're playing racquetball. What way I'm dressed? I'm literally wearing Keith's shirt and clothes I had from like two days ago. Who's gonna win? Ah, Keith! <laughs> no, I wonder. I wonder. You're approaching sunset. Okay, this is the road that I actually want to show you so you know I'm not exaggerating. Like actually spent this is my last day here, sunbathing, and lads I'm actually getting like my bum is scalded. Like I'm actually like a baboon. And for some reason yesterday I think I'll be burnt to my face, even though I was wearing a SPF, so I probably didn't apply enough. But my bum like is literally like I was sitting down last night when like is my bone burnt? No, look. I was like, whoa. Whoa. But anyway, we're going on a lovely trip today. We're going for like a sunset tour up to Shipwreck Island because as I said previously that our rental car did not work out and we didn't end up driving there. And then we were going to do the boat tour, but um, because I can't swim, like I have a fear of water. I was like, can I really sit on a boat for like eight hours when everyone's swimming? And they're just going like an Egypt. So we just, we looked it up and we got this like private tour. This couple like brings us up and we get to see the sunset. So I'm super excited with that. So I'm gonna get ready now. Um, my hair is at the stage where it's like super greasy, but I don't want to wash it. So I'm just gonna try crimp it and make it look a bit decent. Um, the pool is exceptional. It's like one of the best pools in the world, like leading pools in the world. So you're paying for like the pool area, but in terms of like price. Like to eat here is fecking, fecking crazy. Um, yeah, so like we have we travel down to like the town which is Tisbilly, which is about literally like a five minute taxi drive, not even that. And the taxi prices here are absolutely crazy. Like if you're just if you had to go in for lunch, back, back for dinner, like you're talking forty or fifty euro a day, um, which is all that adds up like I think all in all we spent nearly about 200 euro on taxis which is the nine thing about it Um, like I think was it like a tomahawk steak or something was like 290 euro here 
So you just couldn't afford to be in here like all the time. Well, some people I'm sure can afford to eat here because I've seen loads of people eating here. But we um we heard twice. Um not in the like fine dining restaurant, it's more like the bar like place. And even at that, like it was like expensive. So but in terms of like being refreshed, which is the main goal of this holiday was actually to come <clears throat> and not being like partying all the time. I'm refreshed coming back to Ireland because it's been a hectic summer and I felt like I was a bit of a burnout point. Where now I do feel like it's the first holiday I'm actually coming back like refreshed. <laughs> You see where the, the flag is down there? Mm -hmm. the many people? Yeah. yeah. Okay. This is uh, the best place. Yeah. You have to go dangerous. around. I will show you from where. You okay. see these people where they're where going. They're going. Yeah. yeah. Because there used to be a uh, path fun. from there, but they closed okay. it for security reasons. But still they, allowed, are, right? they, they are still finding a <laughs> way to go there. If you want to go there, you have to be extra careful. Okay. 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 If you don't go to the edge. How long does that take? It's very, very close. Oh, okay. don't, uh, it's very, very, very close. Oh, Five minutes. Five minutes. Oh, perfect. Okay. Okay, so uh, what time do you back? So we're up at Shipwreck Island. So we got a little private transfer up, as I was saying earlier. But this is it. I'm afraid my camera's gonna fall off. So let's stand out here. Okay, we should go over a lot. So this is Shipwreck Island. And there's the boat. So the lady and man said we have to walk out this way to get the best view. Oh, that's a nice little view there. The sun was shining on it. Do you want to go up a bit further? Do you want to go up a bit further? Sunset views. to Gatwick, London and then back to Dublin and I will fill you in on the best experience ever last night and I'll fill you in in all the details about everything. So I just thought I'd finish off the end of this little vlog. I'm literally not even back in our like hot minute. So I had to go to the gym just early this morning just to get back to reality but a little few recaps on our trip to Zach and Toss. So we did the private tour up to the Shipwreck Island viewpoint. Um, now it is a bit more expensive, um, but you get to see it at sunset and it was 190 euro for the trip. We just opted for that because the driving like literally stressed us out. The one good thing about going off season is there was literally no one up there. Like there was a couple of couples, but we walked up freely we didn't have to queue because i heard like during kind of peak season that you sometimes don't even get out to you have to queue for like ages to get like a picture and stuff but we actually the tour guide showed us like a way to go around you've probably seen that in the blog or to get like the perfect like sunset view so do you know what it was definitely worth the money and it was a lot of money at the time i was like oh my god that's so much money but you kind of forget about the money when you actually see the moment so it was really, really nice that definitely like made our trip 
in regards to the hotel it was absolutely stunning so so nice it was just a bit far not that it was too far out it was literally like a five minute taxi drive but the taxi drivers like are charging like it's like double the price and then the food in the hotel was like very very expensive and for lunchtime as well it was more like kind of like big dinner big portions and i kind of just prefer like sandwiches and things like that for lunchtime so again like it just depends on preference but if you're buying like lunch every day in the hotel you're talking about like an extra definitely 60 euro a day um but we were actually what we actually did was because the breakfast buffet was so like um like such a big variety we actually used to just like bring the little wraps with us and just have them for lunch i know that's like so kind of stingy but it like literally saved us like 60 euro a day but in regards to the hotel and the view it was one of the nicest hotels i've ever been in in my entire life like the pool view was just phenomenal Um, again it was off season so the town Tisvili was still quite like lively and stuff but if you're going for like party season i wouldn't recommend there it is more like couples um and kind of families um, down in Laganas is where like is meant to be like the party party place but again that was all season so it was like it was actually dead down there and compared to like Tisbilly where we were um, which is probably the best place to go for like off season um, but we our main kind of goal for this holiday was literally just to go to relax and wind down and not have that kind of like party lifestyle that we normally do and I actually feel so bloody refreshed coming back from a holiday. Usually, like, I feel like I need to go on an IV trip for about a week. But, like, this holiday, I'm, like, so refreshed. Uh, like, if you're going for, like, if you're going for, like, really good nightlife, I wouldn't recommend going in October. Um, you'd want to be going, like, peak season. And if you want, like, the party part of nightlife, you need to go to Lagos. But, like, it was still good vibes. Like, restaurants were still busy. Like, some of them were starting to close down. Because I think, like, an all of Breeze Ross and Taxi Man that ever starts to close like close tis really closed completely like end of october i would recommend you do the shipwreck sunset tour or even if you don't do the sunset tour but just go and see like the view it's phenomenal like it's really really good we had a lovely time and i hope you enjoyed this vlog and i will catch you next time